The aquatic ape theory. This is the hypothesis that humans went through an aquatic stage in our evolution that is stated to have occurred during the transition from the last common ancestor we shared with apes to hominids. It claims that certain features that we see in humans are also seen in aquatic animals, and that these prove that our ape ancestors went through an aquatic phase in their transition from becoming ape to hominid. Life in an aquatic environment explains the features we have today, and that a non-aquatic environment could not. The theory all started in 1930 by Alistair Hardy. He was a young Oxford marine biologist, and he was inspired by this idea by Professor F. Wood Jones's comment that one striking difference between apes and ourselves is a layer of fat adhering to the human skin. Because of his specialty in the ocean, Hardy was reminded of the similar layer of fat found in aquatic mammals like dolphins, seals, and manatees, often in similarity with a naked skin. After consulting with his colleagues about his claim, he found no support and was quickly forgotten. Although it was shot down, there are many facts that make this theory very plausible. We know that 6 to 7 million years ago, East Africa flooded, creating many islands. This flooding lasted for around a million years and is the same part of Africa where famous fossils like Lucy have been found. This means that if a population got split off from the founding population, it could evolve more rapidly. We know that as a result of becoming aquatic, terrestrial animals generally will lose their hair, become more streamlined, and retain blubber. Aquatic ape theory says that our bodies started becoming more streamlined as a result of natural selection. This would have helped to make our hips more narrow and our bodies more slender. If a population had evolved for swimming and diving when the water receded, they become more terrestrial. Aquatic ape theory is suggesting that bipedalism is an adaptation from becoming a more streamlined swimmer. Aquatic ape theory also states that after a million years of selection for aquatic apes, they eventually lost their hair. People do have some hair, but they don't have fur. The hairs on humans, unlike other primates, all point down. They appear to follow the direction of water flowing over the body, Hair does seem to grow on other animals in relation to their lifestyle. Another question that aquatic ape theory answers is why are we so fat? Of all the primates, we are certainly the fattest. Our babies are born chubby unlike other primates, which are generally skinny. Humans contain 10 times as many fat cells that would be expected in an average mammal of similar size. Because we did not inherit these traits from primates, the only other alternative would be from hibernating animals and aquatic animals. It is interesting that terrestrial mammals tend to store their fat around their organs, whereas aquatic mammals store their fat on the outside near their skin. Seals actually store 99% of their fat under their skin. What is interesting is that humans store fat the same way, just as aquatic mammals do. Humans, unlike other mammals and primates, are missing the twitch muscle that terrestrial animals and insects use to get rid of dirt. An explanation to this could be that we used water to avoid pests instead of this twitch muscle. One of our best traits of humans is our ability to communicate verbally to each other. The reason we are able to do this is because our larynx is descended past our esophagus and we can control our breathing. Modern day chimpanzees and other mammals cannot do this because they do not have a descended larynx. Instead they breathe while they eat. Chimpanzees are mentally capable of speech, however they cannot do this because of their inability to consciously control their breath. Breathing in through your mouth is more effective than breathing in through your nose, so by being able to come up for a big gulp of air would be more efficient than trying to do this through your nose. The conscious control of breathing would have come from this diving behavior. Then millions of years later, this enabled us to speak on land. The questionable problem about this idea is that there are also a few animals that have descended larynx. However, the ones that do have one are aquatic. Another interesting aspect about our bodies that makes us unique in the terrestrial world is our sweat and tears. Humans, even without exercise in temperate climates, have to drink more water than any other terrestrial animal. All primates and most land animals pant as a result of overheating. Humans are the only animals that seem to have lost this ability. Our sweating is how we cool down. The aquatic ape theory attempts to answer a lot of unanswered questions that have plagued mankind about our beginnings. 90% of all life on earth evolved in the water. Our ancestors started walking upright on their hind legs, becoming bipedal. The hair on their bodies changed direction and they became naked. The larynx descended, they become fatter, they forgot how to pant, their nostrils started to point downward, and they learned to speak. The aquatic ape theory explains how all of these things could have happened.